Blessed and happy Saturday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is Saturday within the ninth week in Ordinary Time, and today is June 10, 2023, and our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verses 38 to 44. Our gospel reading for today speaks about giving. Pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ang tungkol sa pagbibigay. Paano ka ba nagbibigay? And today's gospel present to us two different brands of giving represented by two different characters. The rich people and the widow. You know, according to the story, the rich people, when the give, you know, they give large amount, large amount. But they give their extra, they give their excess, they, they give their, their surplus. They give, but what they kept with them is, is bigger, you know. Nagbigay, pero yung naiwan sa kanila, mas malaking halaga. Is this giving? Yes, but not enough. On the other hand, the, the widow, you know, in the Bible, widows were considered insignificant. They belonged to the lowest class. They were voiceless, marginalized. They, they are in the peripheries. Sila yung mga sabi natin nasa laylayan ng lipunan. And the Bible description for the widow is she is poor, you know, she's a woman. And she belonged to the Anawim, the poorest of the poor. She's poor, but what is interesting is this. She gave everything she had. Her two coins means survival. Her two coins, it's her everything. For rich people, two coins is, in, is insignificant. No value. Wala. But for God, it is very valuable. That's why Jesus praised the widow because Jesus saw not the coins being donated, but the very life being offered. That's why we are reminded this morning, paano ba bang bigay? Para sa akin, Tatlong paraan kung paano magbigay. Kapag tayo magbigay, dapat ito'y taos, lubos, at kung kinakailangan, ubos. That's what the poor widow did in today's gospel. Dahil kapag tayo magbigay ng taos, lubos, at ubos, tatlo rin ang balik. Ang balik ay siksik, liglig, at umaapaw na biyaya. That's why, my friends, my brothers and sisters, when you give, like Mother Teresa said, give, but give until it hurts. Because the real meaning of giving inflicts pain. Ang tunay na pagbibigay, masasaktan ka. Hindi yan pagbibigay kung hindi ka pa nasasaktan. The friends, like the poor widow, our God give everything for us. And the poor widow gives everything she had. And Jesus did the same for all of us. Why do we need to give? For two reasons. Number one, giving opens the way to receiving. And second, the more we give, the more we receive. And it is interesting to note before I'm going to end, Giving is not only limited to monetary funds. Giving is not only limited to money. You know, you can also give a smile. You can contribute an appreciation. You can give a compliment. You can give forgiveness. You can give kindness. The more you give, the more you receive. Because giving opens to receiving. My dear friends, there are two kinds of people in our world the getters, and the givers. The happiest people in life are not 
the getters, but the givers. Give not to get, but give to inspire others to give. Let me end my reflection by saying, Life is not all about accumulation, but life is all about contribution. If you like this reflection, kindly share it so that many will be blessed.